In this video, we will try to explain about uh, how to use R, especially the menus, the use of each menu item, also console related aspects. The file option contains the following items. As we have already mentioned that R contains a command window or console where you can execute R commands. It has extensive facilities to load a set of R commands from a file and execute them. If you wanted to do, you can use the file option. For example, by selecting open script option, we can open a file having R instructions. Of course, whatever commands we have saved, rather we have entered in the command window, if we wanted to save them as a file, as a R file, we can do so. We have facilities known as saving whole of our work along with the R objects that's known as workspace. We can save at a later stage. We can load the workspace and start from the point where we left. That is R can be used as a bench station also, workbench also. We can change the directory. where the R files are saved, R can be loaded. We can print R files. We can exit from the R. These are all possible options available in the file. The edit menu contains copy, paste, copy and paste, paste commands, select all, clear console, data editor, etc. Here, with the help of these options, we can copy the commands in the R console. We can paste commands in the R console. Also, if we have opened any R file having R instructions, you can copy from those files. Also, we can copy into those files or paste into that files. These are all possible with this edit option. With the help of view item, we can either select, deselect the toolbars, status bars. With the MISC option, we can do a lot of things. Like we can stop if any R program, R file is running, we can stop its execution. We can find out the current workspace, what are all objects are currently active. If we wanted, we can remove them. This type of operations we can do from this menu item.
the packages option is the most important one through which we can install packages whenever we want we can update packages for this we can specify which CRA and mirror you wanted to use also which repository you wanted to use during installing the packages with the help of this windows option we can manage all the windows that are opened by R. Maybe if we open a R program, program file, it will be displayed as a window. If I open another R program, it will be displayed on top of it. So if you wanted to move from one R program to another R program, we can bring one R program to the top with the help of these menu items in the windows option. R is equipped with excellent help utilities. Some of them are distributed as HTML files. Some of them are distributed as PDF files. Whichever you want it, you can browse the manual pages or frequently asked questions from this help menu. By using up and down arrows while working in R console, we can recall most recently executed R commands without retyping them. This is more like a history facility that is available in Unix and Linux. Of course, in Windows it is also possible, whereas in the old DOS system it is available if we install DOS key. If R assumes that the command whatever user entered is not completed, that is whatever required arguments, maybe you have opened a bracket and not closed it. Whenever it thinks that command is not yet completed by the user, simply it gives a plus message in the next line. This is an indication of that the command is not completed. This is more akin to greater than symbol given by Unix and Linux whenever the shell assumes that the command what the user has entered in its prompt is not completed. This is mostly like that. Here I have typed help followed by a bracket and I have simply pressed enter. I got a plus. In that line I have entered closing bracket followed by enter key. Thus it has displayed 
help utility help manual pages of R. That is, whenever a plus comes while working in R console, it is an indication that it is expecting from you to complete the command. You can go on and enter the command, then press enter. R is case sensitive. That is all the commands in R are in lower case. They should be in lower case. Elementary commands of R consists of either expressions or assignments. If an expression is given as a command, it is evaluated, printed, unless specifically made invisible, and the value is lost. An assignment also evaluates an expression and passes the value to a variable, but the result is not automatically printed. This difference users are supposed to remember. In R, commands can be separated either by a semicolon or by a new line. Elementary commands can be grouped together into one command expression by enclosing between curly braces. Also, we can put comments wherever we want with hash mark. Everything after hash is taken as comment by the R. Thank you. In this video, we have given general information about working with R. What are all options in the menu? Menu bar are available. They are used. Also, how the command should be entered, how the command should be grouped, etc. information is discussed here.